Am I centered in the camera too? I feel like last time I started to kind of wander off. Ooh. We're gonna break down each of those planes in a separate video in the future. Anthony! You gotta come back with me. Where? Back to the future. In today's Ask Anthony, we're talking about the frontal plane. So the frontal plane is the plane of motion that really goes sideways. Remember sagittal is frontwards and up, frontal is going to be the sideways plane of motion. And so how can we incorporate frontal motion in our fitness and our exercise program? If we think about the five basic movement patterns, a push, pull, a lower body, you know, knee dominant, and then a lower body hip dominant or a hinge we call it, and then a load of carry, how do we incorporate that? So for a push, one thing you can do is we love to do Turkish get-ups and and in parts of the Turkish getup, as you're getting up off the ground, you are pushing both with your down arm and you can incorporate a press with your upper arm as well. So that's a good way to do it. You can even consider side planks as to be a push as well when you're holding that good foundation on a side plank. A frontal plane for pulls, one thing we like to do is called an archer row where you're pulling a band or a cable or some load across your body and back. You'll have some rotation as well, but it's a lot of that frontal plane sideways motion. You can also include what we call a crossover row where you have the weights, one weight in each hand, whether it's a band or a pulley, but they're coming from opposite directions. So your hands are crossed and you're pulling across your body. So now you're getting some more of that frontal plane motion in that row as well. Now for lower body, knee dominant, very easily you, you add some lateral motion with a, a traveling squat where you squat and step to the side and then stand back up and keep stepping to the side. You could also, if you want to go one leg or unilateral, you can do side lunges, whether it's a, a static lateral squat or, a, or you can do a side lunge itself. We can also go for the lower body hip dominant or hinge pattern. Again, lateral cleans, lateral deadlifts. Something we like to do is called, a, it's called shucking where you're in a, a hinge and moving laterally as well. That loaded carry, a great way to include a little uh, lateral motion is just to load yourself up and you can just walk in a, a, a lateral pattern, whether it's the sidewalk um, or whether it's a step over. Think about locomotion. Let's add locomotion too. You can add some side shuffle, some karaoke, anything like that to really get those planes of motion going. So that's the frontal plane. Start to include some of those in your workout. Feel, you know, start easy and slow. That different plane of motion is going to feel different and make sure your joints have to kind of acclimate to it, all right? So give it a whirl, see how it goes. And until next time, train smart. We'll see you later. Doc, you better back up. We don't have enough barbells to train with. Barbells? Where we're going, we don't need barbells. No barbells?